Now let's see how Thermoflow can be used to solve classic heat exchanger analysis and design problems using the methods developed by Case and London. The solution procedures for these problems usually involves chart lookups for effectiveness and NTU for various types of heat exchangers. All these are programmed in Thermoflow. As we mentioned earlier, the user can optionally define their own heat exchanger behavior based on their experimental data as well. In this example, we're going to look at air at 300 degrees Celsius at the rate of 1.5 kilograms per second that's used to heat up water at 35 degrees C at a flow rate of 1 kilograms per second. We have a cross flow heat exchanger with both fluids unmixed and we have a gas side heat transfer coefficient of 100 watts per meter squared C and the area of 40 meters squared. We want to determine the rate of heat transfer by this heat exchanger and we want to know the effectiveness and the air and water outlet temperatures. Click on create model and give it a name. Now we go to the components library and choose cross flow heat exchanger, place it on the screen. We need an inlet and outlet for the first flow path and an inlet and an outlet for the second flow path. Now we connect the nodes to define the two flow paths. Right click to set the fluid for the first flow path. Double click on the icon and choose air from the list of the fluids. And we'll do the same for the second flow path. Now we choose a fluid. Water is the default, so that's fine. We keep it. Double click on the inlet to set its properties. Mass flow rate is 1.5 kilograms per second. We set the pressure to the atmospheric pressure. and temperature to 300 degrees Celsius. Apply. Now for the second flow path, the mass flow rate was 1 kilogram per second. Again, we choose the pressure as atmospheric. Temperature 35 degrees C. Now we double click on the heat exchanger to set its user properties. Uh, we leave NTU unchecked will be calculated. UA is the product of heat transfer coefficient and area, so that would be 4,000. Epsilon would be calculated. Everything else left unchanged. If you wanted to add some losses, you click on it and, and you can enter the values. So we leave everything else unchanged and click on run. The results are loaded and if you right click as before on a component you can see that the epsilon effectiveness is 83 percent and, and all the other uh, properties calculated. The outlet temperatures for the two flow paths are also calculated as well.